Hey everyone, Zev here, and welcome to Border Bots Overview. Pretty genius name for this concept because it's pretty much like not copying but very heavily inspired by Papers, Please. I mean, this might be the future that's gonna be very soon for us because the AI is already starting to take over the internet, so we'll have to somehow scrap by in those robotic times. So Border Bots is an arcade puzzle simulator game where, in a world that it's slowly being taken over by artificial intelligence, you, as a human border agent, you need to check and inspect every single robot that passes by and wants to enter the city of everlasting tech prosperity. I overall dig the aesthetic with the whole futuristic assets and the ambience going on, like it's very job simulatory but on steroids. I'm kinda wondering if there's gonna be gameplay outside of the actual booth because the concept Concept, while it's cool and all and was never done really in VR before, it might get a little bit boring after a while, so it would be pretty cool if the devs would change it up with some environmental changes and just take a break from the main job responsibilities. Aesthetic seems very solid, not quite sure if it's like the quest footage. This is gonna be heavily relying on interaction and the dialogues in it, so I'm looking forward to some comedy and funny moments, although the original game Papers, Please was a bit of a sad story and had very depressive ambience going on, so it's an interesting turn of events. And I wonder if the same magic per se persisted with robots that are supposedly not capable of emotions. We'll have to see, I don't think this is anything playful worthy, but interested how it's gonna turn out eventually. Let's go check some passports. Oh wow. It's very cool. Like even just looking at this city. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good morning. I have adjusted your alarm from the usual 2 p.m. time as your monthly health examination is due today. The city issued Medibot is here now. 2 p.m.? I wish. Calculating optimal navigation path. Oh. Item damaged beyond repair. Grandmother's ashes marked for disposal. <laughs> Greetings, citizen. It is time for your monthly health check. As a reminder, if the screening finds you to be deceased, this will be classed as a failure. Please log into your account in the usual manner. Give me some fist. I guess not everything's perfect in the future. Give me that bump. Technically it should be grab and trigger, not just trigger. User is now logged in. Reports show you are 27% weaker than last month. You will now be tested on your mobility. Please retrieve the glass bottle from over there. There was smooth local kind of setting, but no. Please place the bottle in my hand. I didn't see any for turning, so... It's per usual, 50% of the mark. Oh, such a rebel. I didn't think this apartment could get any messier. I will present you with two images. Please select the one which most closely aligns with your emotional state. Don't worry, there is no wrong answer. <laughs> I don't know. Wrong! Give my button a good poke. Oh, thank you. That wasn't part of the test. It's just been stuck for a while. We will now assess your vitality readings. Place your finger on the indicated spot and relax. Failure to relax will result in a severe electric shock. Uh-oh! Do not concern yourself about the cost of the destroyed clamp. 
it has already been deducted from your next month's food allocation. As such, Taco Tuesdays have been downgraded to Tuesdays. Please stamp here to confirm the results of the test. He's playing music. It's like all over the place with the stuff. The final portion of the examination is a simple observation test. I shall place this gamma ray scanotron amongst your clutter. Just pretend I'm not even here. Go about your normal day to day business as any organic would. All that exciting stuff. Blinking, aging, occasionally making yourself choke while drinking. After a physical examination, it is recommended to take a moment to relax and rejuvenate. I suggest opening the shutters and taking in the wonderful city sights. <laughs> Truly inspirational. I mean, the city looked better in the setting area. This is a bit lower quality. Well, much worse. Borderline like blurry and... There is a priority news alert at your personal terminal. A priority news alert? We haven't had one of those since Mortigen recalled the telescopic arm implants. You have to walk slowly like that? Breaking news, you're in the mechanically summarized media. We have received multiple reports concerning a catastrophic explosion in Sector 3. Is this tied to the ongoing problems with robots neglecting their city jobs? We now go live to the office of the CEO of Fortitude Inc. for an announcement tagged quite important. Citizens of Salvation Heights, this greatest of cities, we find ourselves in unprecedented time. You may have noticed wayward behavior from some of the robot workforce, the gears driving our fine city. Well, to ensure maintenance is being completed and for everyone's safety, a series of checkpoints have been established around the city to manage robot travel. And these checkpoints will be manned by you. A small group of lucky humans will be chosen at random and given jobs. Real, live jobs. The winners will each receive a call as soon as I find the button to end this broadcast. Let us all embrace this exciting time together in one civic-minded group hug. Thank you. Oh, uh... Incredible news. These will be the first new human jobs created since date not found. Please update records. Now we return to our regular weekly panel discussion. What do humans do anyway? It was like a fake 3D. And is the game, no pun intended, generated by AI? Like... The avatar seemed weird, the conversations are weird, like... It's very off-putting, somehow. This is Pandemia, the CEO of Fortitude. You may recognize me from TV, specifically from just a few seconds ago. As the very first draw in our job lottery, I thought I would notify you of your win personally. Congratulations! You are now part of a very exclusive group. Humans with a job. As an additional treat, later we will be relocating you to a brand new apartment in the upper city. The important thing right now is the city needs saving. And you have won the privilege to take on this duty. Your first shift begins today. So we are sending over a vehicle right now. Please step into the back of the room for your own safety. Bye for now. 
Like I'm not bored, but it's just. According to this, you were actually the first result on the list, making you the first human to get a new job in over two decades. It appears the maintenance protocol for this room has been activated. Please be careful. Interesting. Congratulations. We're here to take you to your new job. Don't worry, we'll send the salvageable to collect your things. Let's go. Anytime now. you on the news <laughs> they seem to be calling you number one i assume it's a reference to you being the first result in the lottery <laughs> but it sets up certain expectations doesn't it oh i'm adam i'll be taking care of you now you're a fortitude employee <laughs> oh wait a minute is this microphone even working can you hear me a wave if you could hear me Fantastic job. See you are already living up to your name. <laughs> I really need to be sure that I can't be talking to myself, at least not twice in one day. Some of this old equipment has been gathering dust for a long time now. Since the introduction of the automated core AI, we shut down a lot of these older systems, and job roles for humans are now extremely rare. Mm. I've been one of the few remaining meat bags still overseeing things at Fortitude. Mm. And now I've been assigned to this new program, <laughs> codenamed Border Patrol. Mm. <laughs> and this gets us to why you are here. Well, I must admit, it's all a bit of an intriguing mystery right now. Some robots have started ignoring their instructions. Yeah. Until we work out what is going on, robot travel is being carefully controlled via these checkpoints. Operation of this checkpoint is going to be all down to you. <laughs> so, I'll run you through some of the tools you'll need to use. As a trainee Border Patrol agent, you are responsible for deciding which robots are allowed through and which must not be allowed to proceed. Every robot needs to present a valid travel pass. You must confirm all the details are correct. Okay. Here is your 3D printer, where you can print off figurines of robots. <laughs> Try printing one off using the buttons on the printer now. Great! <laughs> when a robot comes to the booth, compare it to the printed figurine to make sure the declared class and model on that travel pass matches. <laughs> uh. To help rejig your memory, your watch has been upgraded with tooltip technology so you can get info about things in your booth. Hold the button down on the watch and aim it at the shift display to try it out. <laughs> what? <laughs> I need sometimes to just listen. Hold the button down on your watch for a short time to open tooltip mode. <laughs> As you can see, tooltips give you a brief description of what things in the booth are used for. Your shift display can be used to check travel passes are in date and your current performance. <laughs> also, keep an eye on your timer. This can change from day to day. Uh, let's check out something else. Mm -hmm. Hold your watch button down again to close tooltip mode. Mm. Uh, finally, to process a robot, you need to stamp the travel pass with either a pass or fail step. <laughs> That's a lot of introductionary stuff. Uh, over here are your booth stamps. <laughs> uh, take one and use it on the... Tr ah, ah, yes! It 
is expired. Oh, good spot. Oh. <laughs> Press the button. I'm a natural. Ah, start your work day. Pull the lever for the shutters. Here. <laughs> this. Oh, great stuff. You seem to have the hang of things. I'll speak to you after your shift. Good luck. Finally. So, things here look relatively fine. I still wonder if it would be like quest to work, quest free quality, but it's okay. Do I have a timer? I do. So I need to verify all the informations. I have only one roller, which is this one. I mean, oh, okay. <laughs> it depends on the locomotion. That seems fine. Person, if I to too many huh? Oh, sorry, my dude. He knows he's not welcome. So there's just gonna be more complicated stuff later on, but for now it seems to be fine. Excuse me? Good that you're not invited. Get your attitude somewhere else. I love that they have a character though. Fire. There's some audio issues going on. Do I have to press the button every time? No. So that's the gameplay, like... I always wanted to be somebody, but now I realize I should have been more specific. So depressive. Oh, dude, just one day. But the rules are rules. Okay. Congratulations for making it through your first shift! <laughs> you probably got to see firsthand some of the uh, unusual robot behavior that has been going on. Hmm? <laughs> Pretty strange, isn't it? Hmm? One could even think these machines are developing a bit of a personality. Oh, we'll have to chat about that another time. I need to shoot off. And we just have a, a couple of end-of-shift details to run through. <laughs> 
Fortitude decided it would be <laughs> motivational to rank all the new booth workers. I'm not sure if I'm really supposed to say this, but <clears throat> it's my understanding they're exploring an elimination process for people at the bottom. So, do your best. But there. <laughs> Be sure to make the most of this opportunity. Being employed is one of the few ways we humans have to earn privileges. For too many, Salvation Heights is just being packed into apartments like beans in cans. And eating beans in cans like, well, uh, I, 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 I'm rambling. <laughs> Time to end it. <laughs> The thing is that the game is kind of off-putting in terms of the writing, like it doesn't seem real somehow. <laughs> the main gameplay is there, it's pretty understandable once you actually start it, <laughs> cause there is a lot of other stuff happening that I don't know if it's necessarily for the game. He said some interesting stuff about the elimination process and then we'll have some money, so it goes a bit deeper with the mechanics I feel like. The graphics seem to be pretty standard both wise and in the front. The city itself seems cool and all but it really depends in what environment you are because in every single one it looks different. <laughs> it is a very niche gameplay so you have to enjoy it. I don't see this being like very much long term but it's cute for what it is with some polishing in terms of the settings because I only have snap learning and then moving is a tad slow. But overall it seems decent.